What's up guys, welcome back to yet another custom room video. So it's been a long time we haven't covered OnePlus 6 series and many users have been requesting to cover OnePlus 6 series and OnePlus 5 series custom room. So in this video, we'll be covering Awaken OS latest build, which is not yet released for public, but I have the file. Huge thanks to our brother Vikas, who is a developer of this room and he's given us the private file or you can say private build. So in this video, let's take a look at what all upcoming features are there for Awaken OS and we'll also talk about this stability part of this room. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see, here we have our OnePlus 60 on which I'm running Awaken OS talking about the software information. Android version is Android 12. Awaken version is 2.7. We do get 5th May 2022 security patch and we get Primus kernel on this build. If you guys wish to install this custom room, we have already made a video on that. Just follow that video guide and you'll be good to go. I'll leave that video guide in the description below. First of all, talking about the benchmark results. So as always, we do perform benchmark testing on every custom and stock room. So here my oneplus 60 with single core have scored 502 and with multi-core device have scored 2031 with Anto 2 benchmark application our oneplus 60 have scored 4,32,058 and we also did cpu throttling test where you can see average gips were quite high and cpu max throttled up to 82 percent no throttling issues to be seen anywhere on the graph and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video and we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And now talking about this room. So this is again, I guess, based on 12.1 where we have this new wallpaper section whenever we long press on the home screen from where you can directly change the wallpapers. We have Pixel Experience Launcher pre-installed. So you'll have almost every goodies from pixel devices or you can say pixel launcher things like themed icon material you part doesn't have any kind of issues and once you install this room you'll have very minimal applications pre-installed and the room is completely de-bloated if you want any application that can be downloaded from google play store by default we get this basic aosp camera though i never use it one plus six and sixty i'll provide the google camera apk in the description below and that works pretty much great we have almost everything working here with this google camera application except slow motion videos rome do pass the safety net check so you guys won't have any kind of issues with the payment applications here we do get an option of high touch pooling rate so this will increase the touch sampling rate on your device for better touch experience and for gaming part and and then some minor changes have been done under display section we do get the support of ambient edge lightning for notification stuff if you guys want to hide the application we do get an option to hide application under display section from where you can choose the applications which you want to hide we do have working sensors like double tap to sleep and double tap to wake on this lock screen this is how always on display looks on awaken os if you guys want to play around with material u we have a dedicated section for monet engine from where you can make changes or adjust the colors on most custom rooms we do get complaints about pocket mode but here you can see pocket mode works perfectly fine on awaken os Another good thing about this custom room, we do have dedicated OnePlus settings. For example, you can enable high brightness mode, but I won't recommend you guys to play around with the threshold because this might cause screen burn. We also have DC dimming feature, ambient gestures, FPS overlay. You can make changes between the position of FPS overlay and also we have the option to change colors of the same. I haven't noticed any kind of issues with the off-screen gestures. And at last under OnePlus settings, you can also customize the vibrator strength. And now let's talk about face unlock speed and fingerprint unlock speed. So we have already set face unlock and there you can see it hardly takes few milliseconds to unlock the device let's also register our fingerprint now and here you can see device instantly gets unlocked using fingerprint unlock too and these are official builds guys so whenever there is a new update available you will receive it via OTA update so the current version which i am running on my device you guys will soon receive it via OTA update we do have dedicated game dashboard from android 12 which gives you all the information like FPS counter, screen recording, taking screenshot, you can enable. So if you enable FPS counter, you can continuously monitor on the FPS count. And now let's also try a TDM and we'll see how constant is FPS. So you guys must be aware that we only get 60 FPS support on devices like OnePlus 60. So let's try one TDM and we'll see how is the gameplay on this device. Or you can say this custom room. I play four finger plus gyro. And this screen size is a bit smaller for me because I'm used to play on OnePlus 10 Pro right now. So don't go on my gameplay guys.
Till now FPS is quite stable. I did not see any kind of frame drops while playing the game in 60 FPS. Guys trust me gameplay was super stable I did not see FPS going below 55 on this particular custom room. Huge thanks to Vikas for such a great optimization. So if you are into gaming and if you want a OnePlus 60 then my recommendation would be for once you need to try out this custom room and let us know about your experience. Also you can drop messages in the Awaken OS group. So guys this was a quick overview on Awaken OS for OnePlus 6 and 60 and trust me guys it's a great room to be used as daily driver either you do gaming, multitasking or normal usage. If you guys have any kind of questions you guys can let me know in the comment section below. So as of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.